Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. And as you can probably notice, we're not in the same location that we were when I ended off the last episode. That is because of these Gila monsters right here. You see, I tried recording this episode about two, three times, but I kept getting my butt handed to me by the Gila monsters, so I decided, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead, do this off camera, and then come back. Managed to do it, but unfortunately, Rogue is down to one shot. Angela is completely out of weapons, so I'm giving her Ace's wrench to use. And Face is the only one who has any ammo left. Yikes. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and get a little ammo from this pile of rocks. Nope. I mean, technically we did, but not the ammo I was looking for. Anyways, this must be that robot that Sean Bergen brought up. Lodged inside the chest cavity, you also notice a cylindrical object giving off a faint blue glow. Might be a power source. It'll take some advanced knowledge about electrical engineering, but you could try to retrieve it. Well, let's see... 26%. Okay... 62%, with a 10% chance of a critical failure. Yes, got another part. Just toss that in the energy cells onto brains. Now, I'm hoping there's not going to be another fight at the top of this. And unfortunately, this isn't something we can just be like, eh, screw it. This is something we actually have to do in order to progress the story. Oh, I don't like the looks of it. Looks like another fight. Who's the weakest? This guy. Just go for a headshot on him. Or at least attempt to. Uh, Angela, you get up here, make yourself a more appealing target to them, and set an ambush. Because all you can do is melee right now. Uh, Rogue, you've only got one bullet. I'm just going to set you up here. Doc, you have plenty of ammo. So, just start taking shots. Or, you know, miss completely. To be honest, in your case, I don't care. And, face, you get up over here. Just set an ambush for these two idiots. Okay then. Uh, Eagle Eye, you keep working on this guy. And you know what, Angela? Get in there and bash his brains in. Thank you. Rogue, you got one shot. Make it count. Damn it. Oh, that lovely fellow has a shotgun, does he? Well, shit. Uh, dazed, huh? What's that mean for us? Let's see, da 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 da. Fight less effectively. It's kind of hoping for something better. But something's better than nothing, I suppose. Angela, finish him off. And go to beating on this guy. You can't do anything because you're completely out of ammo.
Wow. Blasted his legs off. Both of them, actually. That's... Somewhat impressive. Let's grab... Uh, pump shotgun. I'll just give that to... Eagle Eye Dismantle. Junk, junk. Take the scrap. Distribute the rest. That. Mm. Actually might want to hold on to that one for reasons. Whatever. Citadel base, this is Echo One. Second tower is wrecked and yeah, can't be repaired. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Roger, Echo One. Understood. Uh, stand by. Okay, Echo One. We anticipated this contingency and have a plan B. Ready to copy? Go ahead, sir. 10 4, here it is. Cartographer Sagara and historian Eggleston have found reference to a functioning radio tower in a town called Damanta. Location cannot be confirmed, but it's reported to be east of the old prison behind the radiation cloud. And we have no intel on how to navigate this cloud, but I've heard secondhand accounts of it being done. I suggest you make contact with locals in the prison area, but be advised that's Red Scorpion territory, and they don't take kindly to us trespassing on their turf. Proceed with caution. Copy? Got it. See, what do we know about Damanta? The Scorpions have been mentioned in the place lately. Been saying they're trading with them. It's supposed to be east of the prison, but I don't know. There isn't much east of the prison but radiation. What's the backstory on the prison? Our old HQ since right after the apocalypse. We moved out of there about 15 years ago when we took over the Citadel from the Guardians. Now the Red Scorpion militia owns it. They're trying to run things there like we did. Unfortunately, there's still more thugs than rangers, and they rule with a heavy hand. Who are the Red Scorpions? Back in the day, they were just another raider gang. Now, they call themselves the Red Scorpion Militia, and they're filling the airwaves with a lot of trash about how they're the real law and order in Arizona. That's a joke, but you'll still want to step carefully on their turf. They can be a mite touchy. Echo one out. Roger, Echo One. Be careful out there. Ranger Command out. Oh, let's take a look at this thing. Ah, this. This radio antenna thing. This is only important if uh, you somehow destroy both Ag Center and High Pool. But it's not important to us, and we can't sell it, so there's not much of a point. Probably some good loot in these. Angela, you get onto that. See, if you want more than one character doing something at a time, you gotta go into individual. Nail board. Eh. Something to dismantle for parts. What was here? Ammo. Glorious ammo. Though it's a little late to be arriving, considering we're going to be headed for the Citadel, where we can buy all the ammo we need. And some more surgical supplies for Rose. Okay, then, we've seen pretty much everything we need to see, so I will meet you guys back at Ranger Citadel. Already seen it on the map, so there. Okay then, we are back at Ranger Citadel. Oh, can't stop the chat, Team Echo. Team Abel's always got a job to do. I love it when a plan comes together. Well, that was random. Anyways, back at Ranger Citadel, and we now actually have the ability to access the Citadel. And I'm going to warn you right now. The rest of this episode is just going to be us going around the Citadel, doing a lot of talking, and showing off what is available. Good to see you, recruits. The General informed me that you've completed your mission in Ag Center and now have full Ranger privileges. Welcome to Ranger Citadel. Thank God. Trust me, you're going to be spending a lot of time in the Citadel.
whether it be restocking or taking care of other things, you will be spending a lot of time here. Captain Hunter. Team Echo, isn't it? Nice to put a face to the name. I'm Captain Hunter. Team Delta. Your team doesn't look like the other teams we've met. That's because we're different from other teams you've met. Special Ops. Aren't all Ranger operations special? What makes yours different? Well, let's just say we're the Ranger Team Vargas calls when other Rangers get out of line. Be seeing you, chum. I'd rather not. But yeah, basically, if you go around slaughtering a ton of innocent people, you're going to have Ranger Team Delta come after you. And you don't want Ranger Team Delta coming after you. See, Corporal Flintlock Eggleton. Seems like it was only yesterday. Ancient and balding with his ranger features, hanging baggy on his skinny frame, he wears his long gray hair pulled back in a tight ponytail, and his bifocals teeter on the tip of his nose. What a choice to have to make. Well, I'm glad you saved Ag Center. Nothing I like better in their rutabagas. Now, what can old Flintlock do for you today? Did you call us children? He, <laughs> everybody's a kid to me. I'm older than dirt. And you, you're just back from your first patrol, ain't you? Well, I guess I can call you what I want. How did you get the name Flintlock? The fellas all joke that I've been around so long that the standard issue for a ranger back in my day was a Flintlock and a coonskin cap. And, well, they ain't far wrong. I got boots older than General Vargas's daddy. Uh, what do you think of General Vargas? He's a good kid, Vargas. Helped to save the world from Finster and Base Cochise, oh, oh, re, yeah, Base Cochise's robot army back in the bad old days. And he's been keeping us safe and strong ever since. Love him like my own son. Who was Finster? Uh, didn't you see his head in the museum? Crazy scientist type. Wanted to kill everybody and replace him with mutants. Started making plagues to wipe us all out. Thank God Vargas and Angie and Thrasher and Hellraiser put him down like the mad dog he was. What was Base Cochise? Uh, back before the apocalypse, it was a military facility, just like this one. Only Cochise was a robot research center. Then somehow, about 15 years back, its mainframe had some kind of glitch and it started thinking that humans were the enemy. Can you believe it? The darn thing started pooping out killer robots and sending them off to kill all sundry. Well, the rangers had to put a stop to that, didn't they? And so we did. Blew the damn place to kingdom come. Ain't seen a robot since. Well, is there anything we can help you with? Well, as a matter of fact, I could use your help. The museum is always looking for interest in relics and artifacts from the past at our collection. Recovering that kind of stuff was the best thing the crazies who lived here at before ever did. Trouble was, all they wanted was to hide it away. We wanted to show it to people. Let him... Cogitate? Cogitate on it? No idea what that means. Maybe figure out what some of it does. So listen, if you ever come upon anything interesting while you're on patrol, bring it on back and I'll trade it for what you found. And I won't give you no junk either. I'll set you up with something good. Well, we found Ace's Ranger Star. I think it deserves a spot in the museum. That's damn sad. But we're truly fortunate you found it, children. I'll add it to the collection. It'll help remind us of the sacrifices the Desert Rangers sometimes have to make to keep the Wasteland safe. Thank you, Rangers. Thanks for the info, Flintlock. Adios, children. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, this is the big museum. See this right here? That's a nuke. Let's see, M388 Davy Crockert. Crockett. A bright red button blinks silently on the control panel below the launching mechanism. Don't push the button. It will blow you all up. And lead to an early game over. Let's see, plastic card with black stripe on one side and the words Sec Pass 7 written on the other side. It has seen a lot of wear and tear. Old phone booth, bunch of stuff. There's actually a broken toaster here that. If you have the skill for it, which none of us do, you can repair it. Small square piece of plastic colored blue, orange, and white. There are raised letters and numbers embossed on it. 
Most of the numbers have rubbed off, but you can just make out the later letters. H. Crusher Esquire. And in there, an almost human head. Only the wire sticking out of the neck let you know this was never a living man. That and the slightly rubbery look to the skin. That must be the head he was talking about. Alright. Let's get around to talking some more. There's no getting around it. Despite the bathrobe and slippers and the high-tech artificial leg, this guy is intimidating. Fat, yes, but there's a lot of muscle under all that padding. And he's six if he's an inch. Also, his fists are the size of canned hams. Yeah, I know, you're the new recruits, Heroes of Ag Center, etc. Well, I don't do the tour. Flintlock does the tour. I just do maps. So unless you've got questions about maps, talk to him. Thanks. How do you feel about Vargas? Now that's General Vargas to you. A wild man back when we patrolled together. Now he's too cautious for his own good. Or the Rangers. Where'd you get that cool artificial leg? If you ask about it again, I'll tear it off and beat you with it. Come on, what if one of us loses a limb? You're going to keep a fix like this to yourself? You're right, I'm being selfish. I got it from a woman named Dr. Kyle. Don't know where she came from, but she did excellent work. It's not for the squeamish, though. The new leg is fine, works like a charm, but it's powered by a fuel cell that's implanted in the chest. Kinda freaks me out, to be honest. What's freaky about it? It's like a little blue gem sitting to my breastbone. First few nights I had, I had it, the glow kept me awake. It just feels unnatural. There's a tour? Every time Vargas brings new recruits to the Citadel, they always want us to show them around the museum. Well, I don't have time for it. You never pay attention anyway. Do you and Flintlock get along? Eh, his incessant chatter can be wearing. But I'm glad he's here. He acts as a shield for the idiots who would otherwise bother me. Well, apparently he's not doing a good enough job. I'm here. What's so interesting about maps? Keeping accurate maps is an important part of a ranger's job. Knowing locations and distances to towns, oases, and various and resources keeps our communities alive. We also need new places on the map when we get them. Catalog who lives there, and if they're a threat. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be getting back to it. So, we should keep an eye out for new places. We are always looking to expand our knowledge of the world. Write down all the places you visit on your travels, and when you come back to base, I'll reward you for any place we don't already have on our maps. The more the merrier. The Oasis are important? There aren't many places to find drinkable water out in the desert, so we try to keep maps current about which are pure and which run dry. And no, I'm not giving you a map. Part of becoming a ranger is finding water for yourself. We had to do it in my day, you'll do it in yours. How do you mean, too cautious? We lost a lot of men taking this place, and I understand him wanting to regroup and rebuild. But it's been 15 years. We've been sitting here guarding our little patch of... Patch the weeds have been growing beyond our borders. And every year we let them go, they're going to be harder to cut back when the time comes. Weeds? Raiders, militias, mutant animals, mad scientists, cults. Uh, we keep our own backyard clean, but beyond it, the wasteland is worse than it ever was. And there are places out there that haven't been updated on my map since we got here. What are our borders? Eh, uh, look at this map. This is Ranger Citadel. Our territory stretches from Rail Nomad's camp here to the north, to Ag Center in the south, and High Pool in the east. That's it. Everything outside that triangle has become Terra Incognita. Our influence is shrinking when it should be expanding. Tell me about Rail Nomads. A uh, little town built up out of rail cars, always fighting amongst themselves. But they don't generally bother anybody else. Bit of a drug problem, though. I wish they would end their conflict. Every time one of them gets up, gets the upper hand, I have to change my maps. What do you know about Ag Center? Uh, an old pre-war research facility that got turned into a farm. Now it's a research facility again. Bunch of science types up there trying to figure out ways to grow more and better crops in the wastelands. We get most of our food from them. Good thing you saved it. You know about High Pool? Well, it was a reservoir and treatment plant. We got our water from them in exchange for patrolling up there. Until you let it die, that is. Hey, 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 I had to make a choice, man. 
So, you're proud to be a ranger? If the rangers didn't exist, I would have joined some scavenger gang and been dead before I was thirsty. I may have lost a leg in my service here, but I have found my mind. I call that a bargain. The best I ever had. Uh-huh. Back to work. These maps aren't going to hey draw now, themselves. Angie. I believe in here... Yep, medical ward. Which I could actually use right now. Ah, you must be the ranger's doctor. Uh, this man must be the ranger's doctor, judging by the tools he's carrying around. He walks around the room tending to his patients. Patient, more like it. But frequently stops to catch his breath. You can see tattoos running along his neck and arms. Though you can only catch a glimpse of the latter when he reaches up to cover his mouth during a coughing fit. Huh? Oh, new... Recruits. Hurt? Need supplies? Or just snooping? You're taking pills, Doc? What's it to you? Can a sick man take... <coughs> pills? Yes, we need to be fixed up. I'll cough. Right. Then line up and let me have a look. Do... <coughs> Done. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Yes, just looking around. Well, don't. Stay out till you're sick. No. <clears throat> Looky lose. What's wrong with you? Anything we can do to help? Not unless you've got a cure for <coughs> lung cancer on you. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Before the apocalypse, I could have had chemo <coughs> therapy. Latril healing crystals. Now all I can do is take pain pills and wait for the end. And the fucking pills aren't working any more. What if we found a cure? Ha! What a comedian. There is no cure. Not a, for 150 god damn years. Not unless you believe those crock pits, crock, crack pots who say that Finster found one before he died. Who was Finster? A mad scientist living in a place called Darwin's Village was working on modifying humans for hostile environments. But rumors are that he <coughs> invented a lot of diseases and cures too. Bullshit, of course. And even if it wasn't, Darwin <coughs> Village doesn't exist anymore. Where was Darwin's Village? And north of here, somewhere, as Sagara, but it's gone. The rangers <coughs> leveled it, then radiation ate it. Nothing left. What's Sergeant Sagara like? Thrasher, our map guy in the <coughs> library. Keeps track of where things are and where they <coughs> used to be. Okay, Doc, take care. Alright, sorry, Gilbert. Gotta bother you again. Where is Darwin's village? Darwin, not Darwin's. Darwin doesn't own it. Well, nobody does since the radiation overwhelmed it and it's abandoned. I'll mark the spot it used to be on your map. Enjoy the hike. Oh, we will. Picking up a lot of stuff for this. Let's see, I believe this way. Yeah, down here leads to a I believe the where the prisoners are. Open this way, go somewhere we need to go, or somewhere we'd actually prefer to go. Nice work saving Ag Center, recruits. I know we need high pools water, but Ag Center grows those watermelons I like blowing up, so hey. Uh, hang back a minute. I'm finishing up this priming assembly, and it's a little tricky. Let's see, a leather, leather tough Asian man with a welding mask flipped up to reveal a friendly, deeply lined face. He has scars and burn marks all over his arms, neck, and head. You also notice that he only has two fingers and a thumb on his left hand. Ah, there. All done. Now what can I... Ah, it's the Heroes of Ag Center. Come to see where the magic happens, eh? Well, this is it. I'm TNT. Tan. The man who makes all your problems disappear in a puff of smoke. And you're the kids the general is sending off to solve the mystery poor old Ace got aced trying to answer. They're trying to find the answer to. Uh, anything we can do to help you? No, oh, there sure is. All the rangers know that I'm always looking for bomb-making supplies, particularly ammonium nitrate. And you find that shit in, well, shit. So if you come across any cow shit, or even better, bat shit, or any fertilizer, bring that shit back to me. And I'll trade you some good shit. L.A.W., missile launcher, you name it. You got that shit? 
Have a look at this shit. Shit, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, this is one of the ways you can get a ton of cash. Not a whole lot, but still. See, there's some more. This isn't the best way for now, but it is a good way. Good shit, bro. Brother, good shit. Keep it coming and I'll keep paying. What do you think of General Vargas? Yeah, Vargas is a good man. The hero of Base Cochise and Darwin Village and all that. I just wish he was a man with a plan. Seems like we've been sitting here with our thumbs up our bung holes for a decade. I'm a man of action. I want to get out there and do things. Put a few grenades where they'll yeah, where they'll do the most good. Know what I mean? I understand rebuilding or getting our numbers up, but we've done that. Sometimes I just want to go up and shake the old man and tell him to stop relying on his defense. It's time to unleash the offense. Let everyone know that we're here again. Like, boom. Magic. Yep, I'm the Wizard of Boom, the Sorcerer of Shrapnel. If you need to put a little bang in your party, I'm the man to see. Now, you can get the regular off-the-shelf stuff from Melson up in the Quartermaster's office, but if you need something special, something that'll make a real impression out there, come see me. I can show you the fun stuff. Why do they call you TNT? Well, because I'm the guy that makes the bombs, duh. But that ain't the only reason, if you know what I'm saying. You think there's anything to the radio mystery? Heh, seems like more of Vargas' craziness to me. He goes from sitting on his hands to chasing ghosts in one jump. Why are we all of a sudden hunting mysterious radio signals when we have honest-to-God flesh-and-blood threats right here in the wastes? I just don't get it. So, you knew Ace. <sighs> the latest casualty in Vargas' war on ghosts. Why a good man had to die chasing a few garbled radio signals, I don't know. Ace was one of our best, a veteran who knew the waste like the back of his hand. If some robot kills him, yeah, good men die in the waste all the time. But his death wouldn't feel so pointless to me if he'd been fighting a real threat. When was Base Cochise? Yeah, the biggest damn fight the Rangers ever had. Us against an army of killer robots with lots of explosions at the end. Yeehaw! Yeah, I wish I'd been there, but I wasn't with the Rangers yet. When was Darwin's village? Lair of that crazy android scientist, Erwin John Finster. He somehow decided mutants were better than humans and he started trying to kill us all off. Plagues, poisons, you name it. Well, Vargas and his crew killed him off the old fashioned way with lead, iron, and shrapnel. Woohoo! See, I imagine that's just going to take us to the supply, or the merchant. Yeah. Let's see. I know my shit's a little pricey, but you have no idea what I have to go through to make it. Well, actually, I guess you do. Shit. So what? Do you, so you think these signals aren't important? I don't believe those are live broadcasts at all. I think it's a bunch of pre-war loops that we're finally hearing because the air is getting clearer. Nothing lives beyond the air ra radiation. How could it? The radiation. You go far enough in any direction in the waste, so you're gonna run into radiation, hot enough to cook you. There's no way around it. We're walled in, the last survivors of the apocalypse. Which is why we gotta keep the peace. If everybody in Arizona killed everybody else, there'd be nobody left on Earth. We're all that's left. The last hope. What threats would those be? No, the Red Scorpion Militia, for one, since we pulled in our border and decided not to patrol anywhere near east of Highpool anymore. Those bad boys have been multiplying like roaches. Now they think they're the new rangers, saying they're protecting the people of eastern Arizona like we protect the people here. Well, I don't believe it for a second. And I'll tell you something else. I don't think they're going to be content with just eastern Arizona for long. And I think they want the whole enchilada. We're going to get caught with our pants down. You know about Highpool? We got our water from them. Good folks, if a little mistrustful. And you failing to save their reservoir ain't going to help that. That's not my fault. Okay. What's up, Dan? Well, we're out of time, but there's one last place I want to check out. But first, let's take care of scrapping these weapons. Pump shotgun, scrap it. Nail board, strip it for parts. Good, good. That's a good pile of broken weapon parts. We're gonna need them. 
There's still more, but I'm just going to finish off talking to this guy because we're beyond our, uh, our, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. But we're just going to finish off with this guy. The young sergeant has the build and hearty confidence of a born jock. His neck is bigger around than his head, and his biceps strain the sleeves of his tight t-shirt. Sheesh, they haven't even assigned you your bunks yet, and already the old man sent you off on a couple do-or-die missions. Well, the way it goes in Desert Rangers these days, I'm sorry to say. So, we better so we better get you kitted out ASAP. You ready to equip yourselves, or do you have some questions first? You think General... You think Vargas is too old for his job? <laughs> I... I uh, wouldn't say that. The General's a good man, but, well... He's not exactly a man of action anymore, is he? I mean, he kicked ass back in the days of base Cochise and Finster, but nowadays, it feels like we're all just sitting around on our asses most of the time, you know? Old man? Oops, did I say that out loud? Eh, don't tell Vargas I call him that. He'll hit me with his cane. What do you mean, do or die? Well, choosing between Highpool and Ag Center wasn't exactly easy, was it? And following up on those radio signals already killed Captain Ace. Okay, that's cold, I know, but it pissed me off. How did one of our best men die on such a bullshit mission? And now Vargas is sending you to finish the job? Hey, I'm glad you found Ace as a murderer, but it's not going to stop there. He's going to send you to find the same stupid signal. How do you feel about the Rangers? A shining beacon of decency in a dark land. Ain't what the old man's, ain't that what the old man says? Well, we try. You can't be as honorable as the general says when you're out in the wastelands, though. Not if you want to survive. The way I see it, you'd be as honorable as possible after you make sure the other guy's dead. Yeah, we got a few questions. Ask away if you want to know about any of the gear, name it. If you got questions about the Citadel, I can help you out there too. Is there anything we can help you with? Nah, I'm good. I... Well... Actually, there is one thing now that I think about it. Now, us rangers are getting active again. We're starting to use a lot more ammo. Don't I know it. And I'm running low. To make more, I need as much brass, lead, and steel as I can get my hands on. So, if you acquire any broken weapon parts for me, especially the junk that's left over from modding your weapons, bring them back to me, and I'll buy them at a premium. I like raw materials, but seeing as how the only metal we get is from our weekly Levelupe mine deliveries, Broken down parts of old weapons will work. That's why you want him. He will buy them at a premium. And boy howdy does he buy them at a premium. It's gonna be your best way to make a ton of cash. One was base Cochise. Uh, the greatest threat the Rangers ever faced. Or so all the old Rangers say. A bunch of robots in an old military base. Doesn't sound like that big a deal to me, but whatever. I just wish something big would happen now. I'm tired of hearing old war stories. I want to live through some stories of my own. Who was Finster? Some kind of mutant master. Finster created all these mutants and tried to take over the world with them. Or something. Anyway, Vargas and the other old guys kicked his ass and made the world safe for humanity again. At least that's how Flintlock uh, tells it. You knew Ace well? Eh, Ace was one of the best. All us rangers looked up to him. Now he's dead. Murdered. And for what? So we could chase some radio signal that might not be a threat to us somewhere down the line? Sometimes I don't get the generals thinking at all. You don't think the radio mission is important? I don't know why Vargas is so gung-ho to find this signal. It already killed Captain Ace and it might kill you too. For nothing as far as I can see. It's probably just some old pre-recorded message. There's probably no one there at all. Did you hear he was killed by a robot? I hadn't. I'd heard you found something weird and were bringing it to Mer Captain, though. You don't think the signal's a threat? More like a waste of time, if you ask me. We got bigger troubles right here in our own backyard. Why we gotta go chasing radio ghosts? Ranger Citadel, what about it? Otherwise known as the Ranger Clubhouse. This is your home away from home as long as you're a Ranger, and there are worse places to live, believe me. The food's good, the water's clean, and you're surrounded by your best pals, a bunch of badass desert rangers who have got your back no matter what. Who could ask for better than that? Hoo -ah. Where can we store our extra equipment? See that ranger locker behind you? Mm, given the current uh, camera angle, no. 
Uh, if you want, your team can use it to store extra gear. Don't worry, I'll make sure nobody messes with it. What troubles? Well, the Red Scorpions, for one. I'm afraid if we leave them to their own devices, they're gonna get too big to put down. How do you feel about them? The biggest gang around right now, and they're getting more organized every day. I say we should be going after them and leaving these bullshit radio signals alone. Yeah, can you show us what's available? Sure, have a look at what we got. While I got your requisition forms ready, and make sure you choose wisely. Won't last a day out the waste without proper equipment and water. Well, first things first that I'm going to be doing is selling off this. The broken weapon parts. Look at that. 322 and 700. Got a ton of scrap and all the things that we can sell. All the things we need to sell. In all honesty, I think we're probably going to want to go for assault rifles. But, and this is a big but, that is something that's going to be saved for another time. Thanks for bringing in the weapon parts. It's tough keeping all these mooks and bullets, but this delivery will help a lot. Keep bringing me what you find and I'll keep paying extra. So finding water is really a problem. More people die from thirst on the waste than from bullets, so you'd be wise to top off your canteens every time before you head out. We've got plenty for you over in the mess hall. Thanks, Sergeant. Hey, Melson. How are the guns? Okay then, so with that, I am going to end this lengthy episode off here for today. I'm going to take care of sorting out my inventory, selling off a bunch of junk, buying new equipment, and most importantly, ammo off screen. So, with that, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the little bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, uh, don't forget to hit the straw poll either to vote for our next Let's Play, and please, leave a comment down below this video. It's about the only way I can interact with you guys right now, though I am considering a Twitter account for that. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.